interweaving of Terran and Zerg matter. Subtle. Spun on micro scale. Rare Terran individuals. High psionic potential. Overcome flawed origins. Now added muscle density. Expanded brain matter. Able to hypothesize multiple scenarios. Eat flesh. Splinter bone. Useful adaptations. Abathur, your queen is expecting results. Organism Abathur will serve queen. I see the testing has been going well thus far. I know you don't particularly care for Terran subjects. Yes, very bad. Primitive structures, minimal biological adaptability. But I need this for our war. They're awake. I sense... Fear. Fear. Appropriate. Good. I was hoping they would retain some emotion. Has the subject recovered from tests? Will they live? Survival, likely. I want them ready for battle as soon as possible. We go against the Terrans. Using the subject will prove most beneficial for the Swarm. Direct combat not recommended. I told you to make them ready for battle. Why was this not done, Abathur? Wasteful to spin unnecessary adaptations. Complexity bad. Not needed before. Needed now. We'll look for local fauna. Essence useful for swarm adaptation. Do it. I want them prepared before we move on the Terran outpost. This should have been done beforehand. I desire to see this subject in action. Despite their lack in ability to be ready to fight, your skills have been useful to me, Abathur. Am pleased to know it. Since the subject is awake, release them. If my plan is to work, I will have to establish authority. Make sure it knows who it serves. Logical decision. When I return, I want preparations ready for the subject's next adaptations. I expect them finished for our attack against the Terran. Organism Abathur will not fail. Victory assured. Good. Proceed with your work. I shall return. Organism Fairy Dragon. Ability origins perplexing. Must examine closely. Good. I can see your arms and legs are still working. I was afraid your recovery would take longer than it has. But you are resilient, it seems. I don't need to read your mind to know that you are confused. Scared, even. You should be. But besides that, you have no reason to be frightened. What can you remember? Answer your queen. I demand it. Excellent. I'm glad you can remember some things. You were a Terran, a ghost, programmed and trained by the sons of Korhal to be a living weapon. But not anymore. You belong to the Zerg now, a servant of the Swarm. Ah, I see more of your memories are kicking in. Good. <laughs> 
Now you remember who I am. No pistol at your side this time to protect you. I am Kerrigan, Queen of Blades, and the only reason you are alive right now. If it weren't for me, you'd be devoured by my zerglings and left for dead on that planet we found you on. There is nothing you can do to defeat me. Not even when you were a Terran. <laughs> You want to leave? Really now? Well, take a look at yourself. You don't exactly look like you did before. You're mutated, evolved into something much stronger than a human. You're more than human. Zerg DNA has been sewn into you. You have become an entirely new creature. Just like me. Where would you go? Look at you. Any creature would know you are a monster. You think the Terrans will take you back? Do you think any species would take you? You have no one and nothing. Just the swarm. Accepting that now will make it easier in the long run. Trust me. I know. Set aside that idea of leaving and listen. Even if I did let you go, you wouldn't get far. You are incomplete. I have left you unfinished. Abathur has not yet made you battle ready. You're like an insect without its exoskeleton. You're exposed, weak, pathetic. It would be far wiser for you to stay and be completed before you left, or even tried to challenge me. Even so, I have a greater task for you in mind than dying amidst the dunes of some foreign planet. Listen, and perhaps you would see that your queen has a greater purpose for you. Don't get smart with me. I am your queen, and unless you would like a swift and painful reminder of who owns you, then listen. The Terrans abandoned you. They left you for dead. All because you were expendable, outdated, trash. Why would you want to be loyal to an organization like that? Don't lie to me. I can see into your mind. You're an open book. I can hear the conversations, the whispers of how you would abandon the Terran organization given the opportunity. All those things they did to you just so they could make you into a monster. Well, I have made you into something far greater. Something useful. Something able to get back at them for what they did. Isn't that what you want? To escape from them? Give them a little taste of their own medicine? Well, I'm giving you the opportunity. Right now. I can give you strength. Power, knowledge, and the means to do with it as you see fit. Well, so long as it serves the swarm. The United Earth Directorate has been seen in this sector. They haven't been here in a while, and I want to make sure they never return. You are my greatest experiment. I am making you like me. A human-zerg hybrid. Sentient. Powerful. And able to dominate. To assimilate the worlds. Make the zerg stronger. Give your allegiance to the swarm. Give it to me. 
and I can assure you, the Terran forces will never enter this sector again without fear of your swarms under my banner. I'm giving you the opportunity of a lifetime. Though, if you choose to decline, I can always have Abathur turn you into biomatter, serve the swarm by being a structure, if that pleases you. No, I didn't think it would. I need a strong leader in my armies to serve. My brood mothers are just not cutting it. You are my experimental general and the deadliest weapon I have ever made. So, shall we continue with your adaptations? Make you into a strong Zerg general and serve me, your queen, against the Terrans and utterly destroy them. See them scatter before you like roaches, crush them all, burn them from their hiding places, and assimilate their worlds for the swarm. Good. You have made your queen very, very happy. By my side, you will see the galaxy bend before you, and not a single species will stand against us. The Zerg conquers all, and you will be on the winning side. Not a bad deal if you ask me. <laughs> it seems we have an understanding after all. I'll get Abathur. Tell him you're ready for your upgrades. I can't wait to see what kind of beast you'll turn out to be.